welcome to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. Today I have something so easy and delicious for you, a sweet treat. This treat is easy to make, it's delicious, and it has wholesome ingredients that's good for you. This is so easy, I'm so excited to bring it to you. So stick around, I'm gonna do it now. So it's the holiday season and the temptations are out there. I get it. And that's why I'm bringing all of these little sweet treats to you. Something that's wholesome, still with whole ingredients that your body can easily digest. I'm not going to use the term healthy, but the ingredients are still wholesome and good for you. Today, we're going to make chocolate covered dates and they taste just like a snicker bar. We're going to use Majol dates. And the reason why we're cho choosing Majol dates for these is because they're big, plump, and juicy. And that's what you want. You don't want little dry, hard dates at all. So these are what Majol dates look like. Come in closer, you can see they're nice, fat, and juicy. So the first thing you're gonna do is pit these dates. You're gonna remove the pits from them. So I'm gonna remove the little top half and I'm gonna remove the pits. So just use your fingers and just gently open up your date. See how juicy this one is? And remove the pit. I normally save the pits and I save them for my date seed coffee. Yes, date seed coffee is so good, guys. I will leave the link below so you guys can take a look at that video. But I used to be a big coffee drinker. I mean, I had to have my morning coffee and my afternoon coffee, but I finally realized that it made me nervous, it gave me jitters, it just made me anxious, so I had to stop. But I love the taste of coffee. And when I figured out how to make date seed coffee, it was the best thing ever. Keep in mind, it tastes just like coffee. It smells like coffee, it tastes like coffee, but it doesn't have all the impurities, first of all, because a lot of the coffees in the store is just full with toxins. So it doesn't have the impurities, and it's good for you because dates are high in iron, fiber, calcium, it's high in all of that, and the date seed has that also. So let me continue to remove the seeds, the pits from these A lot dates. of times I'll have these at parties, just for, you know, your guests that might not want to have cake or might not want to have anything that's, you know, really bad for them. So I'll have these like on the side, like on a charcuterie board or something like that, just so they can have that little bit of sweet treat. But for me, I'm just going to make maybe about six of these because I like to keep these in the refrigerator just when that sweet tooth just starts to kick in. I'll have something nice and sweet, but I don't feel guilty because I know it's still healthy. So once I get, some, get my dates all pitted, I'm gonna add a little bit of peanut butter. And this is just creamy peanut butter, but you can use chunky also. I'm gonna take my spoon, just a small spoon, and just a little bit of peanut butter, and I'm gonna drop it right in the middle of the date, just like that, okay? This can get a little bit messy, but it's delicious messy, so it's okay. Once I get my peanut butter in, into the dates, I'm gonna add one almond. So just one almond to each of these. Now guys, you can use peanut butter or you can use almond butter if you prefer, but just you wanna use something creamy that's kind of like on the saltier side, like a butter, some kind of a nut butter. Now I have my, that I have my almonds inside of my dates. I'm just gonna put them here on the side and I'm just gonna grab some dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is vegan, guys. There's no milk in it, so you know, be mindful. Milk chocolate has, milk dark chocolate doesn't have any milk at all so it is vegan the dark chocolate is a little bit more on the bitter side i love that taste to me it just reminds me of coffee so i like that bittery taste with the sweet and the salty mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. all right so i'm just going to put a little bit of the chocolate bits into a, a microwave safe bowl because we're going to microwave this i'm also going to add to this bowl oh let me clean my spoon i don't want to get peanut butter in my coconut oil I'm gonna add just a teaspoon of coconut oil. The coconut oil is gonna help to harden the chocolate. It also gives it a nice shine. We're gonna now pop this in the microwave. For those of you who don't wanna use the microwave, you can also do this on the stove. That's fine also, but microwave is just faster for me. So I'm just gonna pop this in here until it melts. Dark chocolate is melted, yes, all right. So while it was uh, in the microwave, I went in in between and just uh, stirred it. 
just stir it into the oil to make sure that it, you know, consistently throughout is it's balanced. I also grabbed a plate and some parchment paper, and I'm just gonna lay that down on my plate. My dates, I'm just gonna kind of, okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use a Q-tip, a Q-tip, a toothpick. I'm gonna use a toothpick, and I just don't wanna get my fingers messy, so I'm just kind of pushing down my almond into the date, and then I'm gonna just stick my, my toothpick, oops, my toothpick right into my date. So I'm just gonna stick it right in there, just like that. And this way we could hold it. Place my date right into the chocolate and just cover it with the chocolate, that easy. Let me try to get you guys close in. So I'm just using my toothpick as fingers. And then I'm gonna just lay it down, kind of drip off the excess chocolate. And then I'm gonna lay it down on my parchment paper. You can leave the toothpick in there. I'm gonna do the next one again. I just want to tuck that in just a little bit and then use my toothpick as fingers. Now, if you just love chocolate all over your fingers, you go ahead and not use that toothpick, but I just don't want it to be too messy. And then what happens? You start licking your fingers and you're eating this and then the calories just start adding up. So just to modify your calories, let's do it this way. There it is guys, now that we got it all done. And remember, make as many or as little as you want your desire. I'm just making six today because I'm trying to watch these sweets, okay? All right, so once they're done, all you're gonna do is pop it in the fridge for about an hour. And that's it, once it hardens up, it's all yours. Oh my God, guys, I have to go back in the fridge because you know what I forgot? You know, I started cleaning up, I forgot to put the salt on it, okay. So let's grab these. Let's grab it back out. It's only been in there like three minutes. An option, now you don't have to do this, but I like the way it tastes because the salt with the sweet of the chocolate is really good. So I have some sea salt here, some large sea salt granules, okay? So I'm just gonna take it and just right on top of my chocolate. I don't know how I forgot that. Oh, so many things be on my mind, guys, so many things. But we're just going to put that right on top. And this is really going to be the, the masterpiece that it needs to be. There we go. All right. Now we got it, guys. Now, look at that. Ooh, and the sun is right on it, too. Look at that. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Let's pop it back in the refrigerator now. It's been less than an hour and our chocolate covered dates are ready. Yes, look at them. So that's what they look like. And they pop out really easily right off of the parchment paper. You can even, you can leave the toothpicks in there or you could just pop them right out. However you would like. What I normally do, I'll pop these out and then I will just store them in like a glass container in my refrigerator in the back of my refrigerator where nobody could find them because these sweet treats are for me to taste them and I would suggest just have one a day because these are really addictive well, balance is important obviously and you know have a treat sweet treat every now and then but here we go mm. this reminds me oh some of the peanut butter moves out of my days in college when I would live on snicker bars because I worked part-time and I was in school and I would leave from school and go straight to work and I was always hungry so I would grab a Snicker bar and some hot chocolate. These are delicious. Okay, let me talk to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for joining me in my vegan kitchen. Don't forget to subscribe. Just click on that subscribe button on the bottom and remember to tap on the bell so you get the reminders whenever I just drop a video or I just make a post. Guys, thank you and have a sweet day. Bye, guys.